All right, now we're looking at some uh, food colored water in a 250 milliliter uh, Erlenmeyer flask. And this is a very common piece of chemistry glassware. Um, but you'll notice that the markings on the side are 50, 75, not marked, but we can figure out that that's what that means by looking at the 50 and the 100. And then there's a mark at 125, 150, 175, and 200. The flask tells us that the readings on the, that are marked on the flask are plus or minus 5%. So even if the liquid was right on the line, we felt, it would be an error by plus or minus 5% of 150 milliliters or whatever volume you saw. So let's try to read the volume of the liquid in this flask. It's not going to be as easy, of course, as it was on the um, burette where the volume markings were very precise, very close together and told you the volume to the nearest tenth of a milliliter. And you could actually uh, interpolate to the nearest hundredth of a milliliter, of course, with some error. Well, right now I'm looking at the top of this liquid and I can see that it's above 150, but I'm going to have to judge how far above 150 it is, but uh, really just guessing. So the number of significant figures in a reading of a liquid in an Erlenmeyer flask is not as good, not as many as it is in the burette. So I would say that this volume is uh, perhaps 155 milliliters. But that's as close as I can get. Um, and we know that there's a serious error in that reading.